Welcome to our Tech Troubleshooting Series. Today, we're tackling a pressing issue that many SQL Server users encounter. One of our viewers is facing a significant challenge with page-level corruption in their SQL database and is seeking help. Let's explore what this means and how we can address it effectively. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. To fix page level corruption in SQL Server, the first step is to identify the extent of the corruption. You can do this by running a dbcc check db command. If corruption is detected, the next step is to determine the repair options. You can use the Repair Allow Data Loss option, but be cautious as it may result in data loss. Before proceeding with repairs, it's crucial to back up your database. This ensures you have a recovery point in case something goes wrong. After backing up, you can proceed with the repair command. Monitor the process and check the results after completion. Finally, once the repair is complete, run dbcc check db again to ensure that the corruption has been resolved. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix SQL Server page-level corruption, start by opening SQL Server Management Studio and selecting your database. Right-click on the database, go to Properties, then select Options. Under Other Options, set Page Verify to None. Next, run the query to set the database to single user mode with rollback immediate. Now recover the table or database using dbcc check table or dbcc check db with the repair option. Once the execution is complete and errors are corrected, change the database back to multi-user mode. Finally, set Page Verify back to checksum and run dbcc check db on your database. And that's it, guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.